running back and forth from the fridge to my bench. I've got to get my crumb into the container. I've got to get my ice melt shards into the container. I've got to demold my apple jelly discs. I'm just frantic right now. 30 seconds! Christina, let's go! I'm not going to get any jelly, ice melt shards or cinnamon flakes on the plate. I feel devastated. I've finished all my elements and everything is in the fridge. I'm really looking forward to assembling my dish for the judges. The only element I've got left to make is the edible spoon, but it's not going to happen. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, eight done it. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Nine, well done. There's no spoon and my caramel was taken too far and I'm just really hoping that those things aren't so big that it sends me home. Oh, I didn't do very well. I don't have any jelly, ice malt shards or the cinnamon flakes on the plate. I don't want to go back to the call centre. I just love food. I really, really don't want to go home. Fourteen processes, yes. 28 steps, epic. Yeah, lots of elements on the plate and it's truly a pressure test trying to get every piece <laughs> up. <laughs> Let's get the first dish in. We've got only five minutes to plate up our dessert. It's going to be really hard to make it look as beautiful as Kylie did and it's going to be a big challenge to get all of those elements on the plate. My dream is to have a dessert bar. I'm really inspired by this dish, so I really want to do my best. Wow. You happy? I am happy. Any elements missing? No, there's everything on there. Do you feel different from when you walked into the kitchen this morning? Yeah, I do. I was pretty nervous walking in this morning, so it feels really nice to have come in with that positive frame of mind and then to have achieved something like that. It's amazing. All right. Well, I think we'll taste it, but you need to thank Kylie, I think, yes, for thank you. a great oh, recipe. Thank you. Yeah. Off you go, then. Thank you. Well done, Ashley. I was really impressed with Ashley. I think how she managed to get everything up on the plate is... is is great. It was a hard dish to pull up. The bit of toffee on the bottom is a really dark colour and that's what you're expecting, especially when you're expecting a bitter flavour too, mm. so. As we always say, it's all about the flavour, isn't it? Let's taste, yeah, shall we? Yeah, sounds mm. good. Moose looks good. It's taste. Yeah. Mm, I love the consistency of the mousse. It's absolutely super light, smooth, really beautiful. And I think those spheres, the way she's put them together and smoothed them off. Yeah, the mousse looks lovely, nice and even. You know what I'm loving is the apple. Mm. Yeah. There's, some, there's a certain freshness about it. Um, that's wonderful. Interesting, isn't it? Tasting like an amateur's version of your dish, you really see what's essential. And it is this attack of a 50-foot salty caramel woman that, you know, it's all toasty and creamy and salty and sweet. And it's really only edible because of how dark the caramel is yeah. and that bitterness and how fresh those apple jellies are. And those two things, they make the dish make sense. And I think that's really the big success for Ashley. Shall we get the next dish in? Yeah, yeah sounds good. I'm worried that my caramelised white chocolate's too dark. It's definitely a lot darker than Kylie's and I'm the only one without the spoon. It's just not perfect. I've been through so much already to be here. No one else has been in as many fresh tests as me. I just have to constantly fight for my position. My food dream is to get this little family business up and running. I don't want to go home today. Oh, gee. Oh, wow. Oh. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
just didn't expect that at all. That was the hardest one. Like, that was phenomenal. Well, you'd know, because you've done all of them. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. There's something missing, though, isn't what there? What is What's missing? The spoon. Uh, well, let's see how the dish stands up without the spoon, hey, Rose? Yeah, yeah. Off you go. Thanks, guys. Look at that sugar shard on the top there. It's darker than yours. Yeah, it's a little bit dark. But I like it, I like <laughs> it. I really do. Hang on. Gee, they're dark, though. Look how yeah. dark that caramel is on all levels. It's the caramelised white chocolate. She's taken it a little really bit further. It. Does it spoil it when you push it that far? It, you get a little bit more of a, almost a nutty flavour, I think, sometimes right. when you take it that further. We'll see, I suppose, when we taste it. It's good, that mousse. Mm. It's, it's lovely. And that caramel sauce mm. is absolutely smashing. That mousse is delicious. It is really nice. It's got a really deep flavour to it. Such a rich colour to it. It's a darker, which gives a, 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 such more of a savoury mm. um, approach to it. Darkness of, of the elements. I mean, Rose does seem to have pushed everything a little, a little bit further than yours. Is that, yes. Is that fair to say? I'd, I'd say with the caramelised white chocolate, which is the base for a lot of these elements, she has taken that a bit further. Yeah. If you're going to compare it with yours, it's not the dish that you put up. It is darker. It's, uh, it's a different interpretation, and she's pushed every caramel element that little bit too far. So it's not the recipe. And if it's not quite right, then you put question marks over the dish, don't you? At the end of the day, replication is part of the game. What we're looking for is it's about recreating a Top Chef's dish. And she hasn't got the spoon. That's a big part of the playfulness of this dish. It's the thing that gives it that kind of little joyous edge. Well, in saying that, let's get Christina's dish in. I'm missing the ice malt shards, the apple jelly, and the cinnamon flakes from my dish. But I've pinned my hopes today on the fact that getting the main elements of the dish perfect will get me over the line. The food industry, that's where I want to be. I really want to have a food truck and I'm determined to make it happen. Wow. Ooh. I've put all of myself into this little plate. Now my fate rests in their hands. Looks all right. I'm, I'm just looking at it and going, Christina, wow. I can't, I can't believe that I've done it. It's just torturous not knowing what you're going to think. I've tried to nail the main bits. I've tasted the mousse and all those elements, and I, I went yum, yum, yum when I, when I tasted those things in those bowls. Um, so I, I just really hope it's enough to get me over the line, because I want to be here. Christina, good job. It's now our turn to taste and make a decision. Let's address the obvious things. No apple jellies, no shards. But she's got the spoon. I think the glaze, it's its shinier than all the other ones. She's done a yeah. really good job with that. Shall we taste? Yeah. That looks good though, doesn't it? It's really noticeable when you plate it up like this that there are less elements. Mm. I think she's done really well with the mousse. It was probably the best consistency of the yeah. three. It looks nice, it's smooth. And her spoon as well, it's better than Ashley's. The standout elements on the dish, the apple gel pops out, and the glaze. The glaze is really good. But, but there's a few problems. We're missing apple jelly. We're missing the crunch mm -hmm. of that shard, which acts as the, the play on the whole toffee apple. And there's a problem in that caramel sauce. Mm. It hasn't been taken far enough to give it that bitterness. It's yeah. quite sweet and cloying. Everything just tastes a bit too sweet. There's nothing to relieve the sweetness. 